Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome back to the logical journey of the Zubinis. Going back to the Stone Cold Caves on Oso oh Hard to show off the heuristic solution to this level. Much like the first incarnation of the heuristic solution on the earlier difficulty, it's... it's a bit... it's better than the algorithmic solution. They're back! What did we do to deserve this? Generally better performance rate, and we'll help you figure out which traits are gonna be the key to the puzzle. So once again, same with the heuristic solution on the earliest difficulty, we want to find the most common trait among the Zumbinis. I'm noticing right off the bat, we have five Zumbinis with sleepy eyes. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Zumbinis with normal eyes. So I'm going on a whim and saying normal eyes play a role in the solution, because they do, this puzzle is carved around common features. So let's try him over here. Go ahead! Go ahead! Excellent! He goes on up. Welcome. Let's try this guy. Okay! Oh, sorry, pal! So something about the hair or the feet rubbed that sure. guy the wrong way. Thanks for coming. So I'm going to go on a limb and say, go on a limb, go on a whim, and say he only accepts normalized, she accepts non-normalized. Likewise, he either accepts pink hat hair, or he either accepts spiky hair, or pink shoes, or rejects bow ties or bald heads. So let's try bald head over this here. Alright, let's try bowl cuts over go here. Go ahead, go ahead. Alright, bald heads on this side, non-bald heads on this side, normal eyes over here, non-normal eyes up there. Cool. Oh, yeah. That makes it easy. Well, why not? So yeah, that was pretty darn easy to figure out, and I only got rejected a couple of times, so that's pretty nice. So it's kind of, it's pretty similar to the uh, heuristic solution on the earlier difficulty. It's really just finding the common trait, figuring out where the common trait goes, and then you can figure out the other trait very How easily from there. How fortunate for Zumbinis that you are their guide! All right, let's try that one again to show that Welcome. it is a good solution and not just a one-time fluke. go again. All right, looking at the Zuminis, trying to find the most common feature among them. One, two, three, four, five, seven, five <laughs> noses. One, two, three, four, five of those. One, two, three, four of the. I'm noticing that there are a lot of things of five features. Not super ideal. Um. Yeah, so this is a very, um, very interesting group in that pretty, there's nothing really above five features in common from what I can see. I'm going to keep looking just in case, but unless I'm mistaken, the most, the highest number of shared features is five, and that's split between a lot of different features, which is not good. I'm thinking bull cuts, maybe? One, two, three, four... Five. Only five bull cuts, though. I thought for sure there might be a sixth. Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Feet the normal feet. Man, this is like a really, really even spread among the Zumbinis. This is actually really bad. Well, I'm gonna try green noses or bull hat, bull cuts or feet. Or his sleepy eyes. This guy has all, so let's try him. Can't let you in. So in this way, the this is extremely okay. unusual in that the heuristic solution <laughs> is not really going to help us all that much, but we can at least narrow it down. All right, so it's not bull cuts. Maybe it's sleepy eyes. <laughs> okay, no. I can't let you in. So he either sure. doesn't like ponytails, or he doesn't like. Propellers, or he only accepts pink Certainly. shoes. 
I'm gonna go on a limb and say he only accepts shoes. So let's try sending him up. Yep, that worked. Let's try sending him up here. Y'all do. Yep. All right. So I'm guessing he rejects sleepy eyes. He rejects or and she rejects pink shoes. Excellent. Certainly. Oh, really? <laughs> bye bye. Okay, that's interesting. Change of plan. He only accepts glasses because we have the same amount of glasses as sleepy eyes. Very interesting. <laughs> Have a good time. Highly unusual, that. <laughs> and again, so the Eurostick Solution did help us out a tiny bit there, because it was helped us narrow down which traits it could be. But that was an incredibly unusual circumstance where there was nothing above How five common traits among the Zumbinis. That you are their guide. Extremely unusual, that. Let's try it again. More of those little pebbles. Here we go again. Oh boy. One, two, three, four, no, five, no, six, no. seven blue noses. It's gonna be blue noses. Go on. All right. Step right. He made up. it through. Let's try glasses as well. Cool, cool. You'll do. Uh oh, he did not like that. I must be careful about who I let in. So he either does well, not like roller skates okay. or he does not like green hat hair. Either way, we're sending her up. And we're sending her up. Go ahead, go ahead. So again, she rejects blue noses, he rejects roller skates. Cool. So all, well, why not? all non all roller skates go up there. Everybody else is gonna pile on down here. Mm, okay. That was a really simple one to figure <laughs> out. So as you can see, if you've got something where it's like an oh, obvious this there's more of this trait than any other trait, that's really easy. Well but if it's a tie between done. multiple traits, it only makes it slightly easier. But regardless of what it is, the heuristic solution is an improvement on the algorithmic solution, which is nice. That's where we're going to leave it for today. Thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. I hope to see you next time. Until we meet again, have a great day and God bless.